Hello, and welcome to chapter one. You are well on your way to becoming a web developer. All right, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to actually discover how the internet works. What is the internet and how it works? I don't want to make any assumptions and assume that everyone is on the same page with how it works. Um, and we're not going to go too deep, so we're not going to explain everything about the internet and how it works, but we're going to get a, uh, just a broad overview, a thousand foot view, if you will, uh, looking in on how the internet actually functions and how it works. So in order to help me do this, I've prepared, uh, my hat is so crooked. I don't even know how to do it because my, my, I don't see it gets worse. Mm. All right. So anyhow, the web, I can't look at the screen when I fix my hat. All right, there we go. So I looked really stupid. I always do. So I had a nice beard and just, this is just a little side note, but I had a nice beard and now I just got this goatee because I screwed up my beard when I tried to fix my hair. Like I cut my hair and I try to fade it down and I messed it up. So I'm going to probably get rid of this too. Getting a lot of gray in there. I look dumb. But my head's crooked and that's why my hats are always crooked. And that's why my face is crooked and my mouth barely moves like I've had a stroke or something. I don't know. Anyway, enough of my dumb face. We're going to get off of my dumb face and put on the slideshow I've prepared. Fun fact, I just recorded this a second time because, or this is my second time recording this because the last time... Uh, I recorded the entire thing. Um, I recorded the entire thing and I forgot to add the microphone to my scene in OBS, which is what I'm using to create these videos. And so I went on talking and talking and talking and going through the slideshow with you guys. And I went to watch the video back, realized that I didn't have any audio. So you don't care about any of that though. Let's talk about how the internet works. So we're going to start here with the client's browser. And this is what most people think about when they think about what the internet is. They think of their browser. Well, this isn't exactly what the internet is, okay? Um, it's not your phone Googling something. It's not YouTube or Facebook or anything. Although those things are part of the internet. And your browser is part of the internet. Your browser is actually a really complicated uh, piece of software that's on your computer that can take uh, HTML code and render it to your screen. And it also... Uh, does all the necessary uh, network requests and things like that in order to um, allow you to connect to the internet. So let's dive a little bit deeper. So if this isn't the internet, let's talk about what is the internet. Well, the internet, uh, you can't really tell because of my, my bad drawings, but all these little boxes at the bottom of the screen here, these are all computers, okay? And these computers are called servers and they're called servers because their job is to serve you or to serve the internet they're always on um, and they are always on the network okay so these are just computers that are specific have specific software on them uh, that can handle your request and respond uh, the way that you need them to respond okay these house the code that we're going to be writing for our uh, websites that we make right okay so each computer uh, is connected to the network with, with networking cable or just, you know, there's a network uh, infrastructure throughout the world. And these are all connected all around the world. There's more, obviously, than the six that I have on the screen. Um, but just keep in mind that they're all connected together through a network. But each one has a unique address. Uh, and if you look below each computer, you'll see uh, an IP address. Uh, an IP address, this is uh, an actually an IPv4 or a version 4 I IP address. And all this is is a unique number basically given to each, each server. The, um, they are unique. They're not shared. Um, you're not going to have two computers with the same device address. Um, and so this ensures that network traffic goes to the correct server. Now... We don't run around remembering these IP addresses. We usually remember something like a domain, like facebook.com or google.com or youtube.com. Um, those are called domains. And what happens is you you type that into the URL bar in your browser, and then the URL bar or your browser will actually take what you put in the URL bar and it will send its own HTTP request to what's called a DNS server. Now, DNS server is nothing different than a regular server, except for it might have different software on it that can handle this. But its job is to take your uh, domain that you typed in and return the uh, 
the IP address that you're intending to go to. I don't know if any of you are as old as me, but we used to have phone books. And in a phone book, you would look up someone's name because you didn't remember their phone number. And in the phone book, you would find the person's number and then you would call that number on the cell phone. So the cell phone had a unique phone number and you would look it up by the name. That's exactly what's happening here um, with the, uh, this is called a DNS request or DNS lookup. You are looking up the domain and getting the IP address uh, for the server that you're intending to visit. Once your browser has that, it actually makes an uh, uh, HTTP request to that server. So it gets the 108.177.122.106 from the DNS server. And then it makes the network request or the HTTP request, which is uh, just stands for Hypertext uh, Transfer Protocol, which is just a protocol or a, an agreement, basically, that, that your request is going to look a certain way. Or, or be structured a certain way and the response then will be structured in a certain way and so when we're making this would be called a get request a get get request and the get request would then um the server would look up what you're trying to get okay based upon what the browser sent to the server and then it would return uh in this case html uh it gets it from the html dot or the index.html in this case, and that would have a bunch of code on it, okay? And so it just sends the code back over through an HTTP response uh, to your browser. Your browser then takes that response and its job is to render it to the screen. So it renders the images and the, the text box and everything else that you would type into. So this is kind of how the, uh, the cycle or the request response cycle works. Now, uh, the if you actually type something in here and hit go or search, what's going to happen is it's going to do another HTTP request to the server. That server is going to this time it's going to do what's called a post request, and that post request will will contain the information that you had typed into that at that um, search bar, and then the server will uh, interpret what you typed and find search results create an, an HTML code or HTML text and send that back to your browser and then your browser re will re-render and show the uh, search results uh, there underneath the search bar. And that is kind of how it works. Now, um, just a, as a side note, your browser probably isn't going to have to make another request to the DNS server um, because your browser itself, just to speed that process up, it's going to do something called caching and it will cache that IP address locally on your computer so that it doesn't have to first do a, that DNS lookup. So the first time you type in www.google.com, it has to reach out on the network, go to the DNS server, find that IP address, and it comes back, and then it makes the HTTP request. But, but after it's done that one time, your computer is going to remember that. So the next time that you go to www.google.com, it doesn't have to do the DNS lookup. Um, because it's stored in what's called a cache. Okay, so you're going to hear that word a lot, cache, but basically that's the idea behind a cache, is it's storing something uh, for quicker access so it doesn't have to look it up again. Okay, so that is uh, just at a high level how the internet works. Uh, the next lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to dive just a little bit deeper into that DNS lookup and try to understand how the computer knows that you're trying to get an IP address back. Um, based upon your HTTP request. Uh, after that, we're going to get started uh, in writing some code. In the very next lesson, we're going to write our first HTML uh, file, and we're actually going to see that work. So I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Uh, hope, hopefully you, you dig my teaching style. If not, I'm sorry, but this is the best that I can do. Um, not a great teacher or speaker, but uh, if you stick with me, you'll learn, and we'll get this done. All right, guys. See you in the next video.